yesterday so we can do it again today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and probably another week after that until it starts warming up. We're headed into Winnipeg, into the city. I'm going to fill this trailer up behind me with all kinds of goodies and then I'm going to bring it to the people who need them because that's what truckers do. Everything around you was once on a truck. Probably on a boat too, to be honest. Or a plane. Came from a boat, went onto a train, went onto a, a big truck, maybe a long distance truck like I used to drive. And then it goes onto my truck. So it's all part of the same system. So now it's part of my truck and then I bring it the last little bit of the, bit of the journey. So I actually get to see the happy, satisfied customer who gets what they ordered, you know? Might have come all the way from China, most likely. Everything's made there, apparently. But uh, actually, for the most part, a lot of things that I haul are like uh, parts for uh, like workshops and stuff and all kinds of things like that. And most of those things are made here in North America. A lot of them. Some of them are made in Europe. That's sort of our thing. But it doesn't matter what it is. If they can put it in my trailer, I'll bring it to them. As long as it's legal, none of that illegal stuff. The sun is just rising ahead of me here. And uh, we got sun dogs again. Not as big as the one day when I showed them to you. So maybe that's a sign that it's not going to be as cold. It's going to be cold, but not as cold. You know, it's only going to hurt, like, feel like fire on your face after 15 seconds instead of after 10 seconds. That's an improvement. I'll take it. Come on, girl, I put fuel conditioner in you yesterday. You gotta work good for me. I think she'll do just fine. This girl and I have become good friends, good workmates. I think the relationship is going well. She knows I'm married. So it's not like that, it's just a working relationship. I haven't named her yet. Do you guys think, do you guys know any good names that I could name this thing? Nothing too cheesy, okay? So off we go into the big city. It's gonna be a good day. You'll see. You'll see. Yesterday was colder than if hell was cold. And it was still a good day, so. You can't stop me. I was kind of tired yesterday though. It was weird. It's just Monday and I felt like it was a Friday. Like my body, I sort of felt like I went to the gym. I don't know. I woke up today, I, I, I got a really good sleep. I kind of felt a little tired again, like I had been at the gym yesterday or worked a lot harder than I thought I did. And now I'm fine. I guess I just, you know, hopping in and out, in and out of the truck all day and just had the weekend off maybe my body is kind of thinking and eh, it was kind of nice when we just got to sit all day wasn't it not anymore now I actually have to put my body to work a little bit and in the trailer I have to uh, I have to go in there and move pallets around all day right so my, yeah, my body will stop complaining in another couple of weeks it's just adjusting it's not even that bad I'm, I'm not complaining it's not like I'm hurting it just it felt like I had gone to the gym. It felt good. Like, you know that good burning feel in your muscles where you're like, you had a good workout? That's what I felt like. It just, I just didn't think I had worked that hard.
my body has climatized to the cold weather already. Because yesterday felt really cold. Today is the exact same temperature. It doesn't feel that bad. It's not that bad. So I don't know. Like I was saying last week, right? These bodies. Amazing machines. With only one real flaw. They die. But hey, apparently there's a cure for that too, right? So, we're here in Winnipeg. We've uh, made our way around, like, like I showed you there, to the co-op near Maxim Trucks right here. Uh, I have an empty trailer, so now I'm waiting for direction to uh, see which way I should point my nose. We're gonna start filling this trailer up with stuff, and we're gonna bring it out to rural Manitoba. Or maybe to Winnipeg. And sometimes, often I pick up stuff in Winnipeg, drop it off in Winnipeg too. But a, a lot of my stuff uh, seems to go out to the rural parts, which is awesome for me. I really like that because then I get uh, I get to come into the city, buzz around the city for a little bit, and then get out of the city and go hang out in the countryside where I'm a lot more comfortable. So I get a good mixture of both every day. It's nice. Got to put the serious shades on. We have our orders. The load gods have been kind to us and they've smiled upon us. We've got five skids to pick up close by. I can figure out how to get out of here now. Five skids and it should be more than 5,500 pounds altogether. So not the heaviest stuff, but heavy enough to keep me on the ground. That's for sure, make sure I don't fly away. Let's go pick them up. Somebody needs us. I feel useful. Whoa, whoa there, Mr. Van. Just came roaring in here. This is an exit, right? Off we go to be useful. It's just a little ways down the road here. Five skids. So I have a 28 foot trailer. And most skids are four foot by four foot, three foot by four foot, something like that. Usually a skid takes up four foot of trailer on one side. So five skids, I'm assuming they're regular size because sometimes they're like little tiny two by twos, but if they're regular size, that would take up eight feet of trailer, both sides, plus another four on the other side. So 12 feet on one side, eight on the other. So that's almost half my trailer on one side. Almost, or maybe a third of it, right? And we wanna fill this trailer all the way up if we can. So there will be much more today yet. Down the gravel roads we go. This is our first stop, and then we've got two more after this yet. Weird fog moving into town here, just north of Steinbeck. That showed up in like the last five minutes. That came down pretty quick. You probably can't see it here now, but I probably got about a mile of visibility in front of me. Yeah. Huh, crazy. Look at this guy and his load here. That is awesome, I'd love to pull this. Not this guy with the van trailer. This low bed right here. That is nice. That would be a lot of fun. Well, my trailer's empty, so that means it's time to grab us some fuel. Head on back. Co-op has uh, changed their squeegees yet? Probably not. Why would they do that? <laughs> She's thirsty today. Went all the way up to Selkirk, so it burnt a little bit more than I usually do. Oh, heat. 
Alright. 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 Ah, something in my eye. Ah! Ah! That was uncalled for. Rude. Okay. Oh, I need my little fancy little card here. Need my gloves. Let's go fuel her up. It's fresh. Pump 12. Dues. Oh, there goes that truck again. Listen to it. Nice. That's a pretty nice Peterbilt behind it too. That was nice. That was a nice little treat for the ears, right? Wonder, wonder where he's going. I guess he forgot something. He's going back. Whoops. Hey, give me some fuel. Give me some fuel. Do it. Do it now. No, don't ask any questions. Just give me my fuel. Fine, I'll give you my secret, super, super secret password. Okay. Pump dues. Right? Almost dues. Dues. That's right. Oh, hey, there's a camera here. Hello. They're watching us. Look. Watching us, watching you, watching you, watching him. Watching. What? What's going on? They're watching us. All right. Making sure no funny business happens here. Can I get my fuel now? Begin fueling. Donk sure. Let's go. You can't forget your fuel conditioner, especially on days like this or weeks like this. You don't want that fuel gelling up on you. We talk about this every winter and every winter. It's just as important. Why? Why? These fuel companies that design the fuel, 
why do I have to put fuel additives into the fuel that you're making when you know it's going to crystallize in the temperatures that we regularly have here in this time of year, right? Why aren't you doing it on your end? That's my question to them. Why do I got to do it on my end? Why isn't the diesel fuel that comes out of the pump already good enough for the climate that I'm working in? Questions, right? Questions. Like, I don't think we should have to add fuel additives. I think they should do it on their end. But of course, they're going to jack up the price of fuel then. That's what they do. But hey, we're already paying for these expensive fuel conditioners. Maybe it would be worth it. Maybe it'd be cheaper that way. Probably not. They'd probably jack up the prices more because they want to make money on it, right? But whatever. I think it would be a much better idea to do it on their end. But that is the process anyways that we want to try to avoid. No crystallization, no fuel gelling. We call it gelling because the crystals, when they gather together to plug the filter, it turns into this gooey gel type substance. That's why we, that's why we call it fuel, your, or we say your fuel has gelled or turned to gel. It's, it just turns into like a gooey, sticky mess. And that kind of goo doesn't go through fuel filters. And if the fuel filter's plugged, well, there's no fuel that's getting to your engine. If no fuel is getting to your engine, well, she's gonna get mighty thirsty and you're not gonna be able to get her any water. So, it's like a horse, you know? If you don't give your horse water, it's gonna die. It's gonna stop moving. Same thing with trucks. That's so weird, that fog that came from the north that just drifted right over Blumenort and then right over Steinbach. And now I can see it behind me on the other side of Steinbach. Just passing through. Weird, that only took like 10 minutes for it to pass through also. That was pretty thick for a moment there. Strange planet we find ourselves on. Strange planet. I don't know who decided to move here, but this isn't our home planet. Just got home. I'm ready for my rock star welcome. Here, on the other side of that door, can you hear it? I'm gonna put you guys right here. Okay. Right, oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. Rockstar welcome. <clears throat> Chevy! You're the only one here? Oh, there's Diesel. Hey guys! Ow, ow! Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh no. Oh no. Chevy, stay down. Don't jump. Don't jump. I'm already down here. Why do you need to jump? Good boy, Diesel. No, 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 no. Put your paws down. Good. Chevy, sit. Diesel, are you a good boy? What do you do when it's minus 50 outside and you want steak? Mm, can't fry it. You make it inside. Unfortunately. We're also out of propane still. I keep forgetting to... Do your husbandly duties, sir. You're slacking. Failing. I told him that tomorrow we're going in for IUI again. Uh-huh. You excited? Very. Excited? How Very. you feeling? How you feeling? Excited. Very excited? <laughs> Very ex extremely excited. How excited would you say is extremely excited? Supremely. Oh my. Extravagantly. I don't know. I'm just using fancy words at this point. Extravagantly excited. Yep. It's going to be a big day. <laughs> I think I was telling you before, I have to go in at 9. She has to go in at 11.30. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Good times. Good times. Tomorrow. Wish us luck. So when you're watching this, it'll be today. By the time you're watching this, it may already have happened. Have happened. So I might already have a baby in me. Send your wishes, good wishes this way. All of the good stuff. Fertility vibes. Fertility vibes, yes. And I'm gonna sit down and, uh, oh yes. Smell it, smell it. Commander, meal fit for a king? No.
Lords get different food. Commanders get different food too. This is a Kang's food. Right? <laughs>